Chops, chops. Garrett, come on. I'm sorry, do we want this to be you're perfect you're right, you're or right. awful? Yeah, it is me. Where's mine? With spell winnikers. No, I know, but obviously. Hi, we're two posh wankers. This is uh, this is our first video, so bear with us. We're learning about uh, YouTubing and about wine. Um, we hope you'll join us on on our journey. Uh, my name's Liv. This is my boyfriend Richard. Um, we have been looking for a wine channel which can tell us a bit about supermarket wine. So we thought we'd try our hand at we'll give it um, a go. Yeah, doing so something a little are. bit more entertaining for you guys. Um, so we thought we'd start with our favourite type of wine, which is champagne. I think people often think of it as a kind of special occasion wine, but I think you know it can actually make any normal night sort of seem special. <laughs> God, you sound like such a smarmy git. Uh, shut it. Anyway, I think we should all drink more of it. And um, and if you're smart and you time it right, you can actually get some really good champagne for, for like way south of 20 quid. Um, yeah. So for what we've done for our first tasting, we got a few of our friends around and we decided that we were going to try um, four champagnes, three um, kind of around the 20 pound mark, and then just kind of make things a bit interesting. We included a bottle of Bollinger in there. In fact, I think we've probably told you enough about it. Why don't we uh, show you champagne number one? So champagne number one is Majestic's own brand uh, definition, Blanc de Blanc. It retails for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Champagne number one, kind of average. Like it was quite easy, easy drinking and like kind of soft. Very easy to drink. I liked it. I said very easy. I said very average. You said average. Average. I liked it. I said seven and a half out of ten. I said acidic, but drinkable. So champagne number one scored five point eight out of ten. Um, very detailed score. Yeah, well that's the average of like what eleven twelve people. But yeah. so basically not a great not a great score. Um, yeah, moving yeah. swiftly on. Um, champagne number two. Now this actually is one that we really like ourselves. Mm. This is the Sainsbury's Blanc de Noir. Um, Blanc de Noir means it's only Pinot Noir. Grapes. So there's like three grapes that you use to make champagne with Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Noir, like Mernier as well. I'm not sure that. Um, so this is just the Pinot Noir one, so this is kind of like more the like yeasty, kind of brioche flavour, like really, really nice if you like kind of rich. It tastes a bit more expensive, I think. It, it actually has a bit more body to it, it's so it kind of has a bit... call it biscuity, don't they, or buttery? Yeah, 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 it has like complexity to it. Yeah. So well, let's just see what people thought. Worse than number one, I thought. <laughs> I said, nah. No, it was nice. It's not All boring. honesty, I said it smells like a tuna sandwich. I actually really liked this one. This is my favourite out of Super that. buttery. Yeah. Like Although, do, do you know what? Strangely enough, even though I really appreciated, and personally, it's my favourite out of all of them. Was it? However, I felt like bit not that associated with what I associate with champagne. I really enjoyed it. So but you, you associate not liking champagne? Yeah, I'm not a big champagne <laughs> drinker. I'm, I'm not a big champagne drinker. She liked it too much. So, so this one is called an average of six. That's, um... Bit harsh, that's right? been, yeah, very harsh. I know. They're not easy to I think they, I think they thought, mm, something good's going to be coming. So they like, they're trying to This genuinely is good. Also, I don't think that score squares with the comments that they gave. Yeah. The comments were pretty... Comments are actually like kind of really, were really good. I think the average was brought down by a couple of our like more snobby friends who realised that this wasn't the Bollinger and therefore were just like giving them all really low scores. Yeah, so just to completely ignore all the scores as well. <laughs> yes. The scores are completely <laughs> completely irrelevant. They were produced by. Idiots. But it makes us sound like we did something a little bit more scientific. Indeed. How's my hair looking? Uh, on point. Is that actually? Champagne number three is from Waitrose. It's a brute non vintage and again it retails for nineteen ninety nine. It's because everyone oh, it's, it's actually not very nice. It's more Lamborghini. You know what? We have to so this is champagne number three, but let's imagine it, it's a man. Well, how would you describe it? Oh. Oh He's he's stood up, but he doesn't have a he doesn't have that. He's not very masculine, but he's very well dressed. He has it all on paper, but maybe not in person. So I think I drew a finger. So, uh, this one scored a meagre 5.3 out of 10. Yeah, well, everyone loathed it, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they to be honest, just struggle as I said, no, they did. They did. They, they thought it was absolute shit. This was the least well liked and also the one that people thought was cheapest. So, champagne number four, it is Bollinger and retails for £40. The best.
I like that guy. It was smooth. It was smooth. smooth. S smell, smell wise, um, dry. Then, then dry, <laughs> all, right. all right. So this scored a whopping 8.8 .8 out of 10. What would you rate yourself out of 10? Um, I just don't think that a scale of 1 to 10 is really like, enough to kind of measure the nuances of my brilliance. <laughs> well, the way I looked at it is if someone rated me an 8.8 .8 out of 10, I'd be pretty chuffed because that's nearly 9. And you can't be a 10 because that's just arrogant. <laughs> To be fair, I was hoping that they were going to be a long to while as their favourite, but I, know, I think a good story, right? but up against the Bollinger, <laughs> I just think like that is just, you know, you're up against a big, you know, a big weapon there. So if you've got the money and special occasion, get the Bollinger, but if not, we would yeah. recommend the Blanc de Um, I, I have nothing else to say. Cheers. 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 Hey guys, we're here for the voice recorder.